Okay, after you've made the edge sharp, as in, as you saw in video number two, part two of the butter knife series, the next step is to round over the three remaining edges. So here's your handle. We kind of want to round that over and round um, the top and the bottom over. And the top of, of this part here, this, here's where we made it uh, a knife edge, more or less, and now we want to kind of round it over. So in order to do that, you're going to put the butter knife in the vise. And all we're doing, now this one's already somewhat round, but I'll just kind of demonstrate. Uh, if you haven't rounded it, you basically you have a flat edge there that's a, a little bit about that thick. All right. So what you're going to do is on the edge, you're going to take the spoke shave and do a shaving on the edge, a shaving on the next edge, and then you're going to kind of go up just a little bit, and then on that edge, and that edge, and then just like that. And that's probably got it rounded. It's, it's very, very straightforward, doesn't take a lot of time. Um, unlike the knife edge where you're staying on the same plane and taking material off till you get to the edge, on the other three edges we're just taking, we're, kind of, we're trying to round it over. So we're going to take, work on the edge, work on the edge, and then we kind of come over to the top, work on the edge, work on the edge, and we're not working at a real steep angle like that. We're just we're kind of just working over and back and it's going to going to round that over. So we'll do that to all three sides, all three remaining edges. And kind of like that. And that that goes very quickly. That's all there is to uh, rounding over the edges. The next step is sanding. And sanding is probably the hardest part of the whole knife. You'll spend uh, a good amount of time on that because they need to be, all the defects need to be sanded out. There's a little bit of el elbow grease involved with that, but the, the effort spent in that will be well worth it in the finished product. It'll be something really nice.